everyone, this is day three of Wicca, a day and a year. So today is about melting beliefs, and what you will need is a five to six, six inch white tapered candle, a pin, and a candle holder. So basically what today is about is you explore the answers that you gave about the questions yesterday, and you come up with a category how you feel about those questions. Most people towards those questions feel fear or anxiety or they're kind of scared to get into Wicca. So once you have broken down your feelings about Wicca, you break it out into one word that describes it. So say you feel fear. Fear about getting into Wicca because people will judge you or you don't know if it's right for you. So what you do is you take your pin you carve it into this candle lengthwise, you put fear into this candle. Now, after you do that, you sit in a comfortable position, you take deep breaths, and you meditate on this word. You figure out why you feel this way and why you want to change it. So think about that really hard. And then I'll, uh, sorry. After that, you want to take that emotion or that word that you have on your candle and you want to feel it through your whole body, what it feels like. You just feel it and you breathe and you breathe it in and you feel it all over your body and you feel the tension. Then when you light the candle, it represents that, that, that you are changing as the candle is also changing, it is melting. So your fear or your anxiety or anything, whatever word you pick, is just melting away just like the candle is, and you picture that and you focus on that while your candle is burning. Um, let's see. Light the candle. As it burns, vow to remain aware of your feelings during your learning process over the course of this year and a day. Okay. Hold on, I'm just trying to find this other thing. When the candle finishes burning, there will be wax left over, maybe a little bit part, a little bit of the part of the wick. What you need to do is you need to go somewhere far away from your home and bury it in the ground. So that way, that word, that emotion, whatever you put on this candle is out of your life. It is not going to come and interfere with your practice. Okay. So that's basically the first ritual we do in this book. That's all that today was about. And then there is a few questions you have to answer after you do this ritual, and I'm going to read them out now. What was it like to take part in this small ritual? What emotions did the ritual bring up in me? Did I let go of anything during this ritual? Make sure you copy these questions down and answer them. Tomorrow, what you're going to be learning about is questioning your path. There's a small little brief reading that I'm probably going to read straight out of the book. And then there is quite a lengthy amount of questions that you will have to answer. Now, with my uh, video yesterday, someone commented, I'm sorry, I forgot your username, I think it's your monkey or something. Uh, they said that my calendar was on October still. I am filming in January. I just haven't changed my calendar since then. I've just been lazy and I haven't noticed that my calendar was still in October. So I'm sorry about that. It's not like I'm updating videos from October. I am making them day by day as you guys do this with me. But anyways, I hope your r ritual goes really well. If you have any questions, just let me know because I don't know if I covered anything or everything that I was supposed to. And let me know how it goes for you. If you feel any different, Make me video responses, I love those. And I will see everyone today, ugh, tomorrow in day four. Goodbye, love and light.